Hi, this is Judy from Bungalow Quilting and Yarn. I don't know how many of you know this, but I've been an ICU nurse for over 30 years. I've been in situations where isolation is required for people who are suspected of having tuberculosis and other forms of diseases that are spread by particulate matter. We find ourselves in this coronavirus um, crisis, so to speak, right now, and I've seen a lot of different masks being peddled on the market, patterns for masks, that kind of thing. And what we really, um, should have are something that's a little more occlusive than the ones that people are showing. So I am going to teach you how to make the uh, uh, kind of official simulation of an N95, okay, which is what we wear when we wanna have total occlusion from particulate matter. Um, so this mask that I've made is going to be tailored to your individual size, okay? This one fits me. And as a seamstress, you're going to know what to do after I show you how to do this to make it fit you. I'm also making these for my husband because he is a family doctor. So talk about being on the front lines. He's an MD, he's a family practice doctor. He is on the front lines. He's seeing patients coming in that are sick. And so I am going to be the most concerned for him out of anybody. And I wanna make a mask that's gonna perform for him too. So I'm gonna show you what you need to gather in your sewing room and how to make one of these. The pattern is available on bungalowquilting.com. Click shop and then there'll be, um, you'll bring you to my web page or my sales page for my fabric, which is an Etsy site. And then um, you just put into the search bar on the left-hand side underneath my logo, mask, and it should come right up. So hold on and I'm gonna show you how to do these. Okay, so what you're going to need for this is um, cotton, regular cotton fabric. And that is, you know, whatever you have in your sewing room, you're going to need to cut four of this pattern. So I'm gonna cut two and then I'm gonna get the rest of the cotton, I'm gonna cut two more, all right? So you're gonna need about a quarter yard or, you know, four different pieces of, you just, you know, you're making this, you can use your scraps. So you can use four different pieces, four different colors, whatever, just your nice cottons from your stash. And you're gonna to have to cut four of this pattern piece. So two and two or four. Then you're going to need some lightweight interfacing. Um, I like to use woven interfacing. So you can use whatever interfacing you've got. You don't wanna use quilt batting because the idea is not to make this so hot that someone's going to take it off. We don't want someone taking this off. We want them to leave it on. Okay, so that, those are the things you're going to need. You're also going to need a piece of elastic, a length of elastic. So I had, you can see where I cut this, I had wider elastic, I had like three quarter inch elastic, and I actually cut it down so that it was quarter inch. Um, this length of elastic was about eight inches, I believe, when I measured it. You are going to individualize this for yourself or for your loved one, so you're going to um, cut various lengths and measure it around from probably your jawbone to your opposite jawbone, and then you're going to make it smaller than that, um, and that because you want it to stretch. So, like I said, this is gonna there is gonna be some trial and error here with you with this because you want this to stretch and you want it to fit tightly. Okay, and then we're gonna talk about how we're gonna sew this together. Okay, now remember these are gonna to have to be a mirror image of each other. So when you cut them, either cut them right sides together or cut them wrong sides together and cut four, all right? Because these are not symmetric. This angle is deeper than this angle up here. This is the edge that gets sewn. I'll show you this. This is the edge that gets sewn right here. And then this is the edge that's going to go under your chin and over the bridge of your nose, all right? And these do resemble the closest to an N95 mask that we do use in the hospital situations when you want to avoid particulate matter. Like I said, I've been an ICU nurse for many, many, many years, and I am trying to protect my husband. And so I'm going to take this pretty seriously. Um, so, you know, obviously wearing a mask isn't going to prevent you from having the illness or getting the illness. It's, it's not 100% foolproof, but I'm hoping that this will help. Okay, so I'm sewing a quarter inch seam allowance on that line where I said stitch this line. I don't have it pinned, but I've been doing this for so many years that I can do this. All right, so quarter inch seam along that entire edge. And you can backstitch if you want to. There's really no need to backstitch because you're gonna stitch across it. All right, so what it's gonna look like, it's gonna look a little bit like a cone. It's gonna be somewhat cone-shaped. 
all right? And, and that's the problem with the other masks is that they're, they're not, um, they have gaping along the edges and this is going to be a tighter fit. Now go over to the ironing board and press this so that it looks pretty. So now I have two cone shaped pieces that look a little bit like bra inserts actually, um, but they're not. Uh, so now we're going to put them right sides together, but before we do that, we have to put our elastic in here. All right, so remember we cut a short length of elastic. Okay, so I've sewn in my elastic. I've done a basting stitch and I'm gonna clip these threads. Um, I've done a basting stitch across here and across there. You see how that elastic is put on there like this to make it look like a little basket? All right, then you're gonna sew these cups right sides together. So you're going to put one inside the other and then you're gonna stitch around the edges, but leaving an opening to turn it right sides out. Okay, so put them right sides together. We're gonna to pin all the way around and stitch around the edge, but leave an opening so that you can turn it right sides out. So I'm gonna start stitching here. And I backstitched because you are going to be turning it right sides out. And so that's gonna take a little bit of pulling. And so it's gonna be a stretch point. A little bit of a curve, no big deal. Except the fact that they're bias edges, it's going to stretch a little bit. So don't be wailing on it and stretching on it while you're sewing. Just gently put it together. Okay, I'm going to go all the way around, but I'm going to stop before I get to the part where I started because remember, you want to leave about maybe two, two and a half inches so you can turn this right sides out. So now I've turned this right sides out, okay, and Here's where I um, turned it through this opening. So you're going to roll this edge under and either stitch it closed by hand together, or you can do that by machine. Now this isn't done. This isn't going to fit you right yet. This is not going to fit um, occlusively the way that it is. So we're going to talk about how to fit this once I get this edge sewn shut. Okay, now here's where my fit part comes in. All right, so I've put this on and it should feel snug. I've got my elastic feeling snug enough, okay, that's important. And then I've got this part under here that is, is look at how that goes along the edges of my jawline and my neck. And that's pretty good, it's pretty occlusive. So now here's the important part, this is not occlusive. So you're going to take and you're going to customize this for the bridge of your nose. So customize it for the bridge of your nose by pleating it. Do you see how I'm doing that? Do you see how I'm pleating it? I'm pleating it like this, okay? And I'm gonna hold it like that and I'm gonna pinch it and I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put pins in there, quickly put pins in here to exactly the measurement that I just took. And if it's not exactly even, if there's more on one side than on the other side, that's okay. So I'm pleating this like this and like this. Okay, so you can see it, it's pleated on the inside. That's how it looks, it's pleated. And then I'm gonna sew across the top of those pleats, all right? I'm gonna sew across the top of the pleats. Okay, so now I have something that feels pretty similar to my N95 that I would get fitted for at work. Now, most of the people that are making these and watching this, you're not healthcare professionals. So these don't have to be laboratory standardized or lab laboratory standard. Um, they're just gonna be good enough for you to go to the grocery store or the gas station or the essential things that you're going to need to do. If you're caring for a loved one that's sick, you should be wearing this. Or if you're going to be around, if you have an immunocompromised person at home, um, you don't want to bring anything to them. You could be wearing something like this, but this fits nice along my whole entire face. So, um, like I said, the pattern is on my website, bungalowquilting.com. Click on shop, go over to... Uh, my shop, under the logo, put in the word mask, and then this will pop up. Uh, thank you and stay healthy.